What's up, guys? Good morning. This is the Tank Show. Uncle Sammy's got the children. Hope you guys hear me loud and clear uh, this morning. So, going to uh, see the microphone. Hold on a second. There you go. You guys should be able to hear me right now. So, good morning, guys. All right, let's get uh, you know, let's get the video shared as far as you can. Life's life's video. Hoping everybody can join me this morning. Um, you know, so I wake up this morning. I wake up this morning and I hear. You now I'm reading all the all the comments of the uh, snowflakes that are literally freaking out, freaking you know, freaking out this morning. Hold on, yeah. So there we go. So you know, waking up this morning. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, Monica. Good morning. Good morning, guys. So yeah, please share the video if you guys can see me. Please share the video far and wide. Share it to different groups, as many groups as you can. And thank you so much. So so this morning I wake up. And uh, I'm, I'm, I'm looking at all these snowflakes triggered, and I see these uh, liberal pages, liberal propaganda pages, talking about uh, Donald Trump is, is going to go into nuclear war, you know. Donald Trump never said that he's going to drop nukes on, on North Korea. And that, you know, if, if we need to, I mean, if, if there's, you know, probably the last resort, we have... We have civilized, I would have to say, we have civilized people in our country, especially in our leadership. You know, way, way different than some of the tyrants and oppressors in the world. So when you hear Democrats and liberals compared to the Trump administration to like 9-11, or to, or to compare to, uh, the Trump administration to Nazis uh, or Hitler, um, or even even mention even mention the idea that Donald Trump is going to nuke North Korea. You know, if they have it coming, if they have it coming, and they and, and we need to save the lives in Guam, Guam is being threatened. The people in Guam is being threatened. The people in South Korea is being threatened. People in Japan, our bases, our military bases in Japan are being threatened. Um, you know, the West Coast is being threatened. If we need to save the lives of our, of our people, we're going to do it. We're going to do what it needs to be done. What should have been leaders before us should have gotten done in the first place. But no, you got the same old, same old, you know, uh, Lindsey Graham, Lindsey Graham, the rhino, you know, talking, you know, talking about Donald, talking bad about Donald Trump and his leadership uh, towards, you know, towards his decision towards uh, defending America against North Korea. You know, and that's, I'm, I'm telling you right now, I'm, I'm sick of it. I'm sick of the rhinos like Lindsey Graham. And I said this from the beginning. Lindsey Graham and McCain and all these rhinos in, 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 uh, you know, in, a, in, a, uh, in the White House Congress, they need to be removed. They need to be removed immediately. Um, they, they don't help anybody. They don't help our, uh, us, the people. They don't care about us, the people. They don't give a damn about the Republican Party. They only care about themselves and, and, and you know, uh, tagging along to George Soros and the Clintons and, and the liberal the liberal agenda. That's the only thing I can see of. But I'm telling you right now, that you got um, one particular page out there called uh, Now This. And Now This posted the same video we posted where uh, our president... Our president uh, decides, hey, you know what? I'm, I'm drawing the red line. This is it. Enough, enough. I'm going. You know, I'm gonna, I, I, we got to We got to stop North Korea. Enough is enough. It's not enough playing games. And he says something like that. And you got now this, which is a little, you know, media propaganda who hates, hates Donald Trump, who supports Obama, Obama's administration, a hundred ten percent supports Clinton. And you know, the only thing they can say uh, is Donald Trump is going to nuke. Go to go on a nuclear war with North Korea, as if, as if you know, as if that is on the table, as if Donald Trump has said that. You know, they put words on his mouth, and this is what we're talking about: fake news. The real fake news is the liberal media or the liberal propaganda that that is continuing being pushed through social media, and then you got. You know, you got these people with over, you know, three million five, their their posts never get censored, their posts go viral, super viral on social media because they have you know they, they, they have like full full force. I mean so all basically all, all we have to do, all you gotta do as a conservative is talk shit about Donald Trump so you are not censored. That's all you gotta do. All you gotta do is Russia, Russia, Russia. You gotta talk crap about about Donald Trump, you gotta talk 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 uh, crap about Trump uh, administration and Trump supporters, 
You just got to hate patriotism. And then all of a sudden, bam, you are not censored. That's how it works in social media. Look at Google. I mean, Google is firing employees just because they're speaking their mind. You know? So if you do some uh, research right now on Google, Google is firing employees for having, you know, having just an opinion, an opinion. On their, you know, on their, uh, you know, employee policies. I mean, so you you have the same censorship going on everywhere. And all the conservative pages right now, they're being censored a hundred and ten percent. You know, not not to mention that they, you know, the left has the paid trolls. They got paid trolls. We we don't have paid trolls. They got people on their payroll. You know that. Continue to go to our pages and, and, and you know, and report, report posts, report our, our page, and troll with the most stupidest freaking comments, the most dumbest comments, that is like, what the hell are you, are you thinking? I, I have one person today, listen to this stupid shit I, I read today. I had a Democrat said today, I'm a Democrat, and I support the Second Amendment. And I'm like, great, so you're a Democrat, and you vote Democrat for Democrat candidates, and you support the Second Amendment? And yeah, I'm a Democrat, I support the Second Amendment. Yeah, but I hate Trump. I hate that rich guy, I hate that rich guy, and I hate the, the, you know, the murdering you know, bitch he called Clinton. So I'm like, okay, so who you voting for then? Bernie Sanders. I'm a Bernie Sanders. Okay, so you are a Second Amendment supporter, you are a Democrat, you're a Second Amendment supporter, and you, you support one of the most communist socialist pranks in, in the politics, Bernie Sanders? I mean, like, you know, I mean, like, how, how the hell can you think properly? How can you even walk among us with that type of idea that you support the, 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 the right to bear arms, at the same time you support an individual who, who support Castro and the and Communist Party? How the hell do you do that? How the hell do you even think, you know? So, it drives, it drives me crazy, folks. It drives me nuts, you know? And I wanted to do a, a real show this morning, talk about this this morning, because, because I mean, I'm just reading some of these comments, and I, I wanted just to, you know, go over those comments with you. Um, you had another person. Listen, you had another person. Would you hear, you hear this a lot. How many times? I want to ask you right now, and I want you to answer me. I want you to answer me honestly, okay? Tell me how many times have you heard and never Trump, and never Trump, or somebody on the on the left side say in the comments that somebody should take away the Twitter the Twitter account from Donald Trump. How many times have you heard either never Trump, even conservatives, even Trump supporters have said to moderate Donald Trump, moderate Donald Trump on his Twitter account? I mean, are you out of your mind? Like, I, you know, okay, so you, you, you're supporting this administration. You're saying that he's, he's the man. He's, you know, he's doing a great job, especially facing the liberal media and the elites and the globalists and everybody. He's telling everybody to, you know, basically fuck off. He's telling everybody to fuck off, and he's doing the right for America, right? So you're saying to censor, censor the only voice he has to express his views and in, in his opinions. Right? Does that make sense to you? Listen, I, I don't want to moderate Donald Trump. I don't want to moderate. I want him to be as non-politically correct as he can be. I want him to use that Twitter account like he's been doing. He's the, the only voice he has. The only place where he can tell his side of the story is Twitter because nothing else will. Nothing else will. Now the liberals are pissed off that Donald Trump has his own TV channel. He's got his own, of course he's got his own TV channel. He's got his own TV channel because the media won't give him a break. Let me tell you something. If Donald Trump starts putting on Twitter dog pics, puppy pics, puppy and kitty pics all day, every day, the left, left media will still attack him. The left media will still talk shit about him. The never Trumps will still talk shit about him. So that, you know, I don't want him to be not I don't want him to be as not politically correct as he can be. I want him to use the media, social media uh, as he's been using it, because that's what won him in the administration. You don't get it. You honestly do not get it. He rocks on the Twitter account, and they censor, they're, try, they're trying to censor his Twitter account right now, you know, just to moderate, just to moderate the truth that he's trying to tell the people. 
And that's, that's what pissed me off about all this. No, he doesn't need to be censored. He doesn't need to be moderate. He needs to be given full, you know, full scale. I mean, full egg. I mean, the, the, give him a microphone. Let him, let him say what needs to be said. Let him do what he needs to do on the Twitter account. Okay? Because that's the only gateway that he has to connect with the people, to talk to the people. That's it. That's the Twitter account. And let me tell you something. I'm going to tell you something right here. All right? I'm going to tell you something. And General Patton. If General Patton was alive today and he had a Twitter account, he uh, he will make Donald Trump look like you know he will look like like a leftist. He will make Donald Trump look like a liberal. Swear to God, if Donald Trump, if, if General Patton was alive today, General Patton was alive today, and for God's sake, somebody gave him a Twitter account, General Patton will just literally, I mean, make snowflakes burn. He will make snow burn. I mean, he'd be like one of these dragons from, a, you know, from, from a game of, of thrones and melting snowflakes nationwide. So, you know, it, it, it blows my mind. Honestly, folks, it blows my mind. It, it, honestly, it just, it blows my mind. It blows my mind when people talk about not politically correct. People talk about freedom of speech. But they spend more time censoring freedom of speech. They spend more time, you know, trying to moderate political correctness. They're trying to push their PC. Is that eight years of the Obama has done so much damage to America to make everybody so fear of what they have to say to people? The so scared what you know you know of being reported or whatever. I mean say what's on your mind. You know, say what's on your mind. Say say, say what needs to be said and, and to hell with the consequence to hell with the consequence. Because the consequences of you not saying it are far much worse than not saying anything at all. They're not saying anything at all. You know, they keep your mouth shut. I mean, passing this. We got individuals, man. Listen, we posted some. Uh, we, you know, Uncle Sam and Scotty children. We get a little. Uh, you know, we, we get a little crazy sometimes. So we post some things. Some you know, funny dark humor. We're yeah, U.S. Marine veterans, man. We have a dark humor. And if you like U.S. Marine veteran or any veteran itself, and you don't have a dark humor, there's something missing. You, 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 you're missing. You, 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 we have lost you, my son. We have lost you, my daughter. Somewhere down the line, we have lost you. Because 90%, 99.9% of all veterans have a very dark sense of humor. And I'm, a, you know, very much a PhD in sarcasm, PhD in satire. They, they're just, we're just good at it. So when we post some stuff about, you know, Rice Krispies in Japanese because it was an anniversary of the of the, of the nuclear bomb that we dropped them on them. Oh, then we had a bunch of people, free, you know, freak the hell out. Oh my God! Over a fake picture, over a Photoshop, Photoshop picture. And all I gotta tell these people is like, man, stop! Hey, listen, stop interneting. And stop messing with the internet. If something offends you in the internet, you must stay stay away from the internet. Internet is not a safe place for you. You need to go to Netflix. They got a section there that's called My Kids, and join join the rest of the kids, the children in Netflix, where you can be on your safe safe space and pick the kind of shows you like to see, the kind of cartoons and, and funny things you like to see. You know, believe, leave individuals that honestly just, you know, pushing the truth and they're not politically correct, leave us alone, leave us, leave us alone. There's, there's enough land on the other side of the yard with unicorns and singing midgets that you can join them. You can join them peacefully and none of us, none of us are going to give a damn. See, that's the beautiful thing about, you know, about individuals like ourselves, I'm saying he's got the children, we do not care what other people do. We don't care what other people do. So, you know what I'm saying? It blows my mind. It blows my mind, man. You know? So, uh, so anyway, I wanted to get this uh, live stream this morning. I want you to share it far and wide. Support the Brian Hunter 100%. I'm going I'm to try to... Uh, I got to go through. As a matter of fact, I got to go through my VA at home. I'm going to try to answer some questions here. All right? Uh, we have here... All right, uh, to the, yeah, get it, hey, William says, get him, Ted, you, you know it, William, you know it, Jonathan, Brigitte said, Echo, uh, Becky, where I said, I hear you, Amber, good morning, yeah, so, yeah, I'll read some of the comments right here before I go, all right, yeah, Twitter, Twitter accounts, man, you know, he's, he, he owns the, he owns the media, he destroyed, listen, he destroyed the communist 
news network with a Twitter account. He destroyed them. Nobody else would have done that. Nobody else, no politician would have ever been able to do that. So, you know, give up. I don't want to hear it. I do not want to hear it. I do not want to moderate Donald Trump. I do not want to make him politically correct. I want him to be himself. Now we got listen, we got we got more. I mean, honestly, we do have more. We have so many people that think they know best about politics and Washington D.C. and even myself. I have no college degree, just using common sense. Look at these people. And go, what the hell are you talking about? This is Donald Trump. He he owns five hundred companies. I don't just I don't care if your your daddy was rich. I don't care if your daddy was rich. There's a lot of kids in this, in, in the United States of America whose daddies were rich, his family was rich, and they have not come up to anything even close to what Donald Trump has ever done. And all he did was borrow a couple million dollars from his daddy, and bang, 500 companies later, 500 companies later, he, he, he stood, and now president of the United States of America. And you think, you think, you know best. You honestly think you know best. He has surrounded himself with generals like James Mattis, and you think you know best. Like, I mean, I just blown my mind. He, read, he has written one of the best selling books of all times. You know, The Art of the Deal. The Art of the Deal. And you're going to sit there and you're going to say, you know best. I want to know how many books have you written? How many books have you written so far? So, anyways, I'm sick and tired of these people thinking they know best. Must, listen, when you compare Donald Trump to a bozo, a community organizer, you can't you can, you can, you, you, you could not even put these two on the same platform. A community organizer who has never met his people, who has never owned people, somehow is a millionaire today, millionaire today over the backs of the American people without producing one damn thing, without providing any type of customer service to anybody, without producing any single damn thing. And that's just blowing my mind. That's just blowing my mind. And he, you know, he's out there right now. Just, you know, continue community organizing, continue creating. He's doing the same crap. The Clintons, the Clintons, another multimillionaire political family, right, who owns pretty much everything, owns the media, owns everything, who get away with murder, right, who has not produced a damn thing, who has not provided service to the people, not whatsoever. You got a man who's got 500 companies, over 20,000 employees under his, uh, under his, and now he's the president of the United States of America. I'm, I'm done. I'm done. I don't want to hear your shit. I don't want to hear your shit. You know what I'm saying? Do not want to hear your shit, folks. All right, guys. Tonight, another time, I want you guys to share the uh, live stream video for a while. I got to go to the VA clinic. I got an appointment at 10 o'clock. I'll let you guys know how that goes tonight uh, on my VA clinic. But, hey, make sure you guys get a T-shirt. Make sure you stop by the shop. Make sure you support the brand. Get a decal. Get several. And, uh, you know, share it with your friends. All right? Love you. Simplify. Do or die. Get some. Oorah.